So let's say you have a ton of duplicate photos in your Photos app, and you don't want to spend a decade going through them one by one, leaning forward, squinting, comparing this one with that one, did they blink, did they move slightly, etc. I'm gonna show you an awesome app that will automate that process for you. It'll clean all the duplicates, and at the end of the day, you will have just one of the photos that you care about. So I'll start with some basics and then get into some of the more advanced scenarios uh, later in the video. When you have all of your photos in the Photos app, but you also have a folder on the desktop or maybe a JPEG or images on the desktop and you wanna get them into the Photos app, uh, these might be in your Downloads folder or maybe they're in your Pictures folder, wherever. Uh, the easiest and simplest way is to actually just drag the image, drag one of these onto the library, so drag it into the Photos app here, and it will tell you, the Photos app will tell you if you already have this photo in your library, and you have these choices here, you can either import or don't import, and you can say apply to all duplicates, so let's say that you've got 500 or 1000 photos in here, you could say apply to all duplicates and don't import, and then the only photos that you would get would be the ones that are actually new and unique. Another way of doing that same thing is to actually tell the Photos app to review this folder, to review it for import. So let's say you've got 10,000 photos in this folder. Some of them are duplicates, some are not. Uh, if you just go into the Photos app and then go to File and Import, and then point to or look for the folder that contains all of those photos, so for me, I have it on my desktop. So I go desktop and then loose photos. And then I say review for import. Now it'll tell you which photos are already imported and which ones are new. And then you can just click up here to import all new photos. If it's tens of thousands of photos, give it time because it takes a while to calculate and, and review it all. So you'll see the list building, you'll see the thumbnails building, and you'll see which ones are new and which ones are already imported. So that's a really, like built into the Photos app, a really great way to detect duplicates and import new photos. Now I'll talk about some of the more advanced scenarios. I'll open my handy little note here. Uh, first and foremost, definitely back up your Mac. So have a time machine backup. Um, do proceed with caution. Uh, we can help, macandhome.com. We can help you if you're nervous or wanna be sure with any of this. So there's three scenarios I'll talk about in this video. The first one we already talked about where most of your photos are in the Photos app, but you have some in a folder in the Finder and you wanna make sure that you have these in the Photos app. So we did this already. And when I've imported or checked this photo and imported the new photos, I can just delete this uh, folder because they're now in the Photos app. Uh, the second scenario I'll talk about is within the Photos app, you have some obvious duplicates. So if I look in my Photos app, let's say that I have this as a duplicate photo and I wanna actually go through and delete this or sometimes people have hundreds or thousands of duplicates in a big photo library. So that's the second scenario. Third scenario is within the Photos app, you want to compare photos by the contents of the image or if you have those 73 photos that you took within 10 seconds at a party, hoping that one would be good and that people's eyes would all be open. Uh, for these two uh, last ones here, I love the Photo Sweeper app. Uh, this is one that you can get from the App Store. It's under $20, but uh, just grab this from the App Store. Their, their support team is fantastic. You can reach out to them and ask for help. But uh, when you get this app, just open it up. I usually go to single list mode because this is just comparing one set of photos and it will suggest your, your photos library on the right here. But if you go to single list mode and then you can add folder and I'll tell it to go to, I wanna go to my home folder and then go to the pictures folder and choose my photos library here. So I like to control the, the library, make sure that it's choosing the right library and then click add. And it takes a moment, you get a little progress bar up here. It was quick on mine, but if you have tens of thousands of photos or hundreds of thousands of photos, it will take a while and you'll be waiting for a while. Uh, also, if you have a slower hard drive, it will take longer. Uh, so once you have all of the photos added here, you can just click compare 
And I'll usually do this in two passes. So the first pass I'll do duplicate files where it will catch exact duplicate files. And the default settings here are fine. You just hit start and it'll give you a listing of the, these groups, these groups of two photos or maybe more. And you get the option here to auto mark the photos. So if I click auto mark, basically what it's doing is it's marking photos for deletion where it's going to keep one and it's going to mark the other one for deletion. And you can go through and you can look and see and here's that one that I just made a, a duplicate of. And all you need to do is just have a quick scan, make sure that these are in fact uh, duplicates. And then once you are ready to delete the duplicates, you click this trash marked button down here. What that will do is it will actually, uh, in your Photos app, it will create an album under your My Albums called Photo Sweeper Trash. And you can delete the photos yourself from this album. And I'll show you how to do that. So when I go into Photo Sweeper, I'll just click the trash marked thing here. And you can just follow the, you know, yes, continue, yes, sort of thing, agree. So I'll click on trash. And then it's going to ask to launch photos. And then if I go back to the Photo Sweeper app, now it says the photos in Photos Library will be moved to the album Trash Photo Sweeper. And I say yes, start. So then it did that. This, this tells you how to actually delete them now out of the Photos app, but I'll, I'll show you that. So now if I go into, yeah, it's telling me how many photos, great. So now if I go into the Photos app, then we'll see this trash photo sweeper uh, album on the left here. So all you need to do to actually delete these is you do edit and select all. And then you hold the command key on the keyboard and press delete on the keyboard. If you were to press only delete to just delete on the keyboard, it will just remove these from the album and it won't actually remove them from the library. So you have to hold command and press delete and that will put these photos into the trash so that they will actually be pulled out of your library and put into the trash. And then you can right click this album and delete the album. Now these photos, if I delete all and empty the trash, these photos will be, these are exact duplicates and they're gonna be removed from the photos library. So now I'll show you how to delete photos based on the contents of the photo or uh, similar photos in a series. So if you go into the Photo Sweeper app and then go back to the main photo list and then just click compare again. So now I'll go to similar photos and here usually I just go to advanced and I bump up the bitmap size to be the maximum. So it's actually comparing a, a big chunk of the actual contents of the photo. And you can also set it to a time, the time gap of when these photos were taken, and maybe 30 seconds or less, or a minute, that kind of thing, and then hit the start button. So now it's actually going to do a really quick comparison, well, slower if you have hundreds of thousands of photos, of similar photos or photos that were close in timeline. And so I'll say auto mark here again, but you can see in the info up here in the top of this group, this is image 2752 and this is image 2753. So these are two different photos, but they're of the same amazing looking grilled cheese sandwich and salad. And so yes, I'm totally fine with deleting that duplicate photo. These are two different photos. I just took two because it was amazing. And you can check, you can scroll through and check and make sure that it is deleting or, or marking the correct one for deletion. So let's say that uh, this is actually the one that has our eyes are closed and this is the one that I want to keep. Then I would unmark this one because this is the one I want to keep. And then I would mark this one for deletion because this one, our eyes are closed. I want to keep that one. So you can do, you can check each grouping. It can take a while if there are a lot, but same thing here. Once they're all, you've got them marked, you can just hit the trash marked button and then say yes trash, and then yes launch photos. And then when we go back to the Photo Sweeper app, yes, we wanna move these photos into that album. So it removes all of those photos. And then now when I go into the Photos app, I'll have this album again, and same thing, you just do edit, select all. 
and then hold the command key and press delete to move these photos to the trash. So that's more advanced. You can watch this video, you can slow it down. Um, you can just get the Photo Sweeper app and read the instructions. Some of the more difficult and advanced scenarios we can help you with, just head to macinhome.com to request a call back or, or call us. And either myself or one of my excellent consultants can help you with uh, getting your iPhone, your Mac, and your other Apple gadgets syncing one photos library with iCloud so you have them all in one place and you have a solid starting point. Uh, removing duplicate photos from the Photos app while preserving the albums that you've made. So basically preventing duplicates from being pulled out of your albums. Uh, removing duplicates with custom settings to preserve the highest quality originals. Comparing and removing duplicates from Finder folders. If you have multiple big Finder folders, we can help you with that. Uh, comparing or merging multiple Photos libraries or iPhoto libraries. Uh, comparing or merging photos between two or more iCloud accounts. If you have multiple Apple IDs, we can help with that. Rounding up photos and cleaning duplicates from external hard drives, USB sticks, memory cards, etc. Cleaning duplicates in other apps, Lightroom, Bridge, Aperture, or whatever new problems come up in the coming years, just reach out. We would love to help. Head to macandhome.com and request a callback. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you want professional one-on-one -on -one help with the tips in this video or with anything else in your Mac lifestyle, head to macandhome.com to schedule a consult. So let's say you have a ton of duplicate photos in your Photos app and you don't want to spend a decade leaning forward and <coughs> clearing your throat. 